Hello friends, welcome to not an evil playthrough, well I don't know, uh, welcome to my stream, I'm Cat Clay if you don't know who I am. We're gonna start a new game today, Alan Wake Remastered. Now I have just finished up my Baldur's Gate, uh, very evil playthrough, got the platinum trophy and it's time for a new game. I've been playing Baldur's Gate non-stop for three months, six months, October last year. Um, so I'm going to try something new and what better than the other games that were really hot contenders for Game of the Year last year. So I've always wanted to play Alan Wake 1 and I've never played it before and I wanted to play it before I head into Alan Wake 2. Uh, so I know I talked previously on the stream, um, but we're going to... We're going to get into this game and, and I, I have no idea what's going to happen except that it's going to be weird. So I'm looking forward to it. So let's play Alan Wake Remastered. New game. And we are playing on PlayStation 5. How about we go for normal mode? What about nightmare mode? What is nightmare mode like? Should we do Nightmare Mode? We can always drop it down, right? Surely there's a trophy for Nightmare Mode? I can't even select it. They're like, you are noob. You know Nightmare. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I love this already. Like, we're quoting Stephen King, and it's like, you know, yeah, okay, I'm here for this. Oh, Valtaja, so nice to see you. I know, right? I haven't I've played Alan Wake. Had a vivid imagination, you haven't played Alan Wake? But we this have dream no idea what's going to happen. Me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. There's a lighthouse. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. That a is lighthouse. the perfectionist nightmare. For some it's like urgent running reason, late for I couldn't an remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you you I'd should need to slow down. Late. You need to slow down, mate. How important is this appointment? He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. This is very flat effect. I'm concerned for Alan Wake's sanity here already. <laughs> but there's nobody. Hi, Justin. It's already getting creepy here Suddenly, on Alan Wake. his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. <laughs> yeah, we should just call him Big Al, right? Big Al. I don't know if you know much about... Look up to the light. Look towards the light. No? Okay, that's cool, man. L1 to sprint. Alright, we've reached a checkpoint because we sprint... We sprinted? Sprinted? Um, yeah, Big Al here. I I don't know if you have the Wiggles. You know who the Wiggles are, but they're always about the wake up. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. This is a very Virginia Wolf kind of problem, like to the lighthouse. Um, bridge out. Yeah. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Okay. But I got a thermos full of coffee, so that can't all be bad. Big Al's probably had too much caffeine. The <laughs> Whoops. Uh, you don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You uh, maybe you'd like to get out of here, stuff. yeah? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama. 
Yeah, let's 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 run. I think running is a good idea here. So press X to Mario. You missed your deadline. Okay, this is getting uh, scary already. You uh, can't stop did me. Did I dodge? Like, how did I get? Okay, let's dodge. L1, L. Oh my god, I'm not used to playing games that require actually doing shit. <laughs> I'm nearly dead. How do I even get out of here? Uh, I've got some health back. I want to get over this fence. I realized that the hitchhiker was oh, a character from around. the story I've been working on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a hilarious stream because it's just gonna be me like dodging for half the time. Being like scared. Yeah, this game is kind of iconic. I'm surprised I haven't changed play before. Run! Oh run! Oh no, what to sprint! Let's sprint! Oh my gosh, the sound is really loud. Let's get out of here! To the lighthouse! Alan, you're not sprinting fast enough. Sprint, my friend. Uh. Oh, we've got a friendly face up here. Okay, we've got a friendly face. Come on, Alan. Hurry! Big out, come on. Come on, let's get over here. Hurry, who's this dude? Inside. All right, I'm. This looks like a friendly place. This guy looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh no! Stop! No! Damn it! Die! No! No! I don't think you can shoot hallucinations. Like, I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> It's like he's had too much to eat and he's like doo, 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 doo. I was trapped. There was no way out. Alright. Okay, weird eyeballs on TV screens. <laughs> this is not Baldur's Gate. Um There's a book? Cons conspiracy. This is typo on that book. Okay. Open the water. Okay, how do we get out? Do we get out through the front door? Can I follow the light? Oof, follow the light. Oof, okay, a bit of relief there. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Okay. L3 is focus. Okay. Woof! Oh. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. Thank to you, Lai. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my life. <laughs> I love how it's like, do you understand? I'm like, there's weird, weird spirits chasing me. I'm... I it also makes me so nice now. staircases. When it you, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. Revolver ammo. Taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt uh. him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Oh, there's a flashlight. It's just come down from the heavens. This holy the flashlight. Toward him and burn the darkness away. L2.
Oh. Okay, I need a, I need one of these flashlights. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. I realize that I'm just into games where people talk in my head. Now you'll die. Uh. Cool. Well. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Well, this is hectic. I will give you back your dream now. Okay, thanks, mate. Thanks, please. Item limit reached. All right. We know how to use the torch, and we know how to use a gun. Yeah, this, I mean, all of the, I hear you, Justin, because all Remedy games feel very lynching, right? Okay, so that's good. Yeah, a lot of the Remedy, because they're all like that cinematic connected universe. Whoa, 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 okay. Let's, let's torch this guy. Let's torch this guy. Whoa. Oh my god, there's more people, there's more people. Okay. Maybe just don't keep running too much? I don't know. Wow, I've already died. Okay, friends. Let's try that again. Alright, we are... We are... This is a very interesting... Okay, that guy's down. Now we're just going to proceed carefully. This is it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, insert battery. Yep, okay. I'm out of battery. But... Oh my gosh. I haven't played a shooter for so long and I'm just like, how do I do this again? How do I sh how do I play a shooting game? It's fine. Checkpoint reach. That's a happy days. Open. Whew, okay, okay. If I'm just like freaking out a little bit while I'm playing while I'm shooting things, it's because I'm concentrating. Uh, let's pick up the flare gun ammo. Pick up flare gun. This sounds like fun. Uh, so yep, we'll stick with the gun for now. Although we don't actually have any um, batteries. Just like okay. Alright! The flare gun is like giving off some real serious flares. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's cool. There's people, I think I'm going to start running because there's definitely people who, who are after me, behind me. I can keep this up. Oh great, great. It's the, it's the David Lynch equivalent of the ball from, um, whoa. Mate, run a bit faster, come on. Come on, run. It's like, do, do. This guy runs like Hitman. My gosh. Alright, come on, come on. He's got some stuff going on here. Let's get to the lighthouse. Let's get up here. Why is there a big creepy thing behind me? Woo! Woo! Okay! <laughs> That's right, Malteja. Maybe God will send some Duracell AAAs. Like, we just need some. Or maybe it like, takes D batteries. That's why there's not so many lying around. <laughs> Morning, Eric Oliver. We're playing Alan Wake 1, and I've already died. And 
there's some weird stuff going on in this town. He's seeing things. Uh, he's now in a lighthouse. Clearly some stuff happens between Alan Wake 1 and Alan Wake 2 because he gets a lot more facial hair. <laughs> we just get off. Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You Who's this off. babe? Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. I could totally Cheer cosplay up, her. Handsome. We're here. We're giving Elena Fisher and Chartered vibes here. Now we're on a ferry. Okay, so the tutorial was all a dream and nothing bad's gonna happen. It's gonna be like a David Lynch simulator. <laughs> we're going to lovely bright falls with its fresh seafood. Anything, any place that has fresh seafood on it is like giving me, is telling me like there's gonna be weird creepy fish people here. It's giving me Lovecraft. It's giving me deep ones. Welcome to Bright Falls, where your future lies. There's a train? She's gonna... Oh, she's a photographer Let's like me like on vacation. This girl is stand next to that old gentleman there. pretty much me in real life. I like sure. literally dress like I'll this. I'll give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Oh, are we gonna interview... Can we a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? I'm posing. You have a lovely wife. I do you have a lovely wife. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A I'm pleasure. a famous writer. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Oh my gosh, a community radio station interview for a writer. I have done many of those. I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Okay. I'm to track down if you change your mind, though. That is a real jerk move for Alan Wake. Like, what a jerk, right? If, if you're you're on your vacation and some lovely old man comes up to you, he's like, I'm a really big fan of your writing. And he's just like, I'm sorry, I'm on holidays. I'm too famous for your community radio station. Like, not cool, bro. And you know what that is? That's the kind of stuff that gets you into trouble with the locals. That means that you're going to be like... Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. Made a friend. That's cute. I right. did make a friend. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got. Him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. Yeah, Al. Great. Yeah. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry. We're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. Cool, and Al. You call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. I could write an essay on you know, fictional agents. You know, calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Hey, oh my gosh, look, there's a giant deer in there. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Let's get back to the car, Alan. Oh, there's people over here, though. There's like a big fish man. Damn yuppies. Damn yuppies? That's how I'm feeling right now. The damn yuppies are like invading Innsmouth here. Alright, am I gonna go to the right side of the car? Because this is America and I don't know how it works. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. 
what could what trouble could an author get into in a small town that I've gives me there were creepy still vibes? Places like this, <laughs> towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake, Alan Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I don't know I why Alan is so resistant to fame here. It's like, so people are being so nice to him, and, and he's just like, window. he's like, oh. And to keep it here. Well, okay. Also, who you. doesn't want one of these? Uh, right. I so love to publish my novel and get a standee like this, so I can just, just talk to myself. Don't you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty Do me a favor, <laughs> Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. I, okay, this is a serious hundred percent giving me David Lynch vibes. Me. So Call looking at this a from a writing perspective, right? There is. Ah. This is hectic, like there's a lot going on and there's a lot of information you're being given in this like first you 10 minutes. It's kind of insane. Um, but I like it, like I'm from that school of writing, so it's kind of like keep up or fall behind. It's it's just, I really enjoy that. It does that, get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good side whack. Let's give it a side whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. I love this eye patch, dude. He is, this is it. straight I'm out of David Lynch. <laughs> nah, we can't. We're not staff. We're not allowed in there. Oh, another coffee thermos. We're gonna be so hyper by the end of this game. Who's that guy? Carl Stucky? No. That's uh, so. Uh, this is a, just like a, just this little feature here is a kind of interesting game feature too because it's obviously being directive on where you need to go I without being away. too I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Alan Wake is a jerk. It's gonna be my video. It's like, is Alan Wake a jerk? Knock Hello. knock. Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. <gasps> Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Great. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. I mean, just the pause on this person alone is just giving me scary levels of like, maybe needs a bit of exfoliation. Just people wandering around Aldrin in veils. Lake is a special place, very inspiring. You know, the veil represents death, dying, femme fatales. Still want to know who this mate is. Lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed. Okay, she's definitely the log lady of Bright Falls. That's... Even that sounds better to your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> alright. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic. And... Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye, Mr. Wake. Let's get out of here. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. We got some more batteries, that's hey, good Wake. news. This is Wake! Your... Your keys! This guy's acting like this is the end of the world that just left a key. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> it was. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed also, to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. 
We're getting some really serious, like, not I didn't want to talk about the shining vibes here. Head and sand. Floating through. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Although, let's be frank, if he's a best-selling author, he could probably live off the royalties for a long time, so... Hey Nathan, we're doing Alan Wake, it's wild. It's got, it's, it's, you know, 15, 25 minutes in and the narrative has just, just like exploded. He's also, I'm, I'm still establishing what level of like writer he is in the sense of like. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. I, I got the flashlight. I always like to look at like stuff that's in. Alice had a phobia, the fear the of other darkness. Way. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Ravens, not creepy whatsoever. Just your local friendly ravens. Yeah, just heaps of them. More symbols of death. More Alan Poe references. <laughs> Alan Poe. Edgar Alan Poe references. Cool. Really tempted to try smashing these just like Zelda or something. Great. I feel like this might be a game about death. Maybe. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had um we had a bit of shooting to start off with and it's dark in there. It was a bit crazy. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Yeah, honey, get the power. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? The Labyrinth of Me, the Temple of Shadow and Mist, in her dreams to prevail, kept from sleep. Might have some insomnia later on. There's a clerk. There's an upstairs. Ooh, there's a... Oh, we are just... Maybe that's what's keeping you from sleep is all the coffee thermoses around the place. There's some soy sauce, so we'll be fine. Nothing could go wrong. Upstairs or downstairs, my friends. Nope, no downstairs. Let's see what's upstairs. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Mm. Oof. Crazy Damn. little lady. I mean, yeah, again, this is giving me, there's so many. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. My dad's trying to call me while I'm doing a stream. I should totally answer the phone call and chat to him on the stream. Uh, examine. Weird submarine photos? Like submariner? So yeah, like I mean, veils are symbols of death, right? So like the idea of crossing the veils. So the cabin the looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier. So I think, you know, we've got some pretty heavy-handed symbolism here about, like, we're going to be talking about the veil between life and death. All right, let's go and try and find a fuse box. Um, also, just creepy. This is nice narrative design here. So look at this. Like, the use of light in games is really good. I think um, Stray of recent times did it really, really well. Um... And also the use of kind of sound to draw your attention. The near best guests have already started to arrive. Just but I'm a cantankerous gamer and I like to go the opposite way to the way the game is telling me. Okay, we're out on a beautiful, beautiful lake. I don't see a fuse box. The water was clear but dark. It looked very deep. That's that's giving me I I hate sand vibes. <laughs> the water was very deep. Uh, so yeah, let's go find this fuse box. Yeah, oh, come on, Alan. I think it's just a thing of obviously the period where. The 
power cable goes to that shed over there. This is one of those, like, you've spent too long on this mission and now the game is telling you how to do it. Oh, what's that? Examine a rock. The island oh. had once been the site for a love story. Oh. Maybe it would be that again. I don't understand why this guy would have problems with his wife because she's beautiful and clearly smart. So I think maybe the issues are with him. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Cool. Uh, so let's start that off. I got a trophy for, for this. I like this. Pressing a couple of buttons, that's a nice thing. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure love... thing. Have fun. I love how she's just standing on the porch being like just supervising. She's just like, I'm just checking that you can actually do this. It was thing. a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. I mean... I don't... I think you can be happy here, Alan. Like, this is a nice place. Why are you constantly questioning? I think you have some insecurity issues. You know, you're worried because you haven't written a word for two years. You're questioning your marriage. Like, just be happy, dude. Alice? <sighs> Honey? Examine? Oh, that's the weird books. We've got that. Is she out on... No. Where's Alice, honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I'm upstairs. I have a for you. Oof. All right. Well, Hi. hello there. Hello. I a surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're surprise. A typewriter. Thanks, babe. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Doctor Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. She's Alan? literally being the definition of a supportive Alan? partner here, and he's like. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Wow. Wow. Alan, like, God is a jerk. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> She's literally trying to help him get therapy, get back to the things he loves, and he's like, I, I'm, I'm, ugh. All right. Alice? And now he cares. Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All, All right. the lights were out. Let's run. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Where are you, Alan? Alice! Right, coming. Whoa! Okay. Birdling cabin? <laughs> Let's get in here. Come on, Alan, run fast. Oh, jeez. Alice? Alice? Where's Alice? All right, there's oh, some no. creepy tentacles in the water. Woo! How did he know he, she was in there? Keep going. Have they been in a car accident? I'm s yeah. I'm uh, loving how discombobulated this is. Like how how unsettling up in this the crash is. Car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I mean, this I you can see the influence of this there. game on games All like Returnal as well. Something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. 
I'd have to find help on foot. Yeah, I really like that they're not explaining anything. I think it's actually, it's a really Among cool Alice's technique. Among things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emile Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> nope. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like books with people's face on the cover. It's usually a little, little sinister. In this case... The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. See, I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate, and I'm like, let's just drink a potion of Featherfall and jump there. Damn. Why do I feel like there's going to be some weird shadow men coming out from here? I think to it's helpful to remember that this originally came out in 2010, so this is actually ahead of a lot of things in terms of... You can see the chains of influence this has had. Hello? Go towards the light, Alan. Hello? Someone there? <laughs> I am trying not to say that on the stream, Nathan. I am really trying to... <laughs> it was my first thought too. <laughs> The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. This is like... This is every writer's dilemma. It's like, I don't remember writing these pages. Also... It's a not the best title for a novel. <laughs> Departures. Um, I feel this. I feel this a bit though. Anybody okay. there? Please, I've been in an accident. Because you know, when you're going through those moments when you're writing a novel, you're kind of like, hmm, what should I call this book? What is not a terrible title? The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Cool. Why do I feel like there's going to be dudes in here? Should I get this hard hat? Can I just run around here? Yeah, you can. This is the cool thing. This is why I like, with games, I kind of like going into these weird corners. Seeing if you can find anything cool there. Because often they stash cool, cool stuff in these like little pokey corners. To justify you walking down there. Anyway. Alright, let's go up this log. Because nothing bad could happen in this giant log factory. Anybody there? Yeah, let's. Please! I've been in an accident! Nope. Alright, let's climb over some logs. The log lady would love hey. this. Hey, you! Failed. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Great! Straight to it, people. Ducky. Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. See, writers don't become writers for their, their dreams to become reality. Um, there's a dead body. I guess let's... Let's... Ooh. Find help. Alright, can we get out of here? Nope. Can't climb up there. Let's get through this maze of logs. Also... Whoa. Is this changing as well as we walk through? Serial killers on the loose. Yeah, what could go wrong here? Yeah. Let's run towards the land. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that like The Shining was such a big influence on this because not just because of that line but it's just the general 
I mean, Stephen King loves a writer go who goes into the wilderness to your to do to to write things and then ends up with weird weird shenanigans going on. Use the phone. Yes. There's a serial killer loose. Um. Maybe doesn't work anymore. Telecommunications are down. Alright. This is bad, and there's now. There's now like a, a guy trying to steamroll the entire building into the river. Alright, that, that, that was cool. Okay, can we get out of here? Oh. Alright, there's one guy there, and then there's one guy on the roof. Okay, gotta... Get him in the leg. Oh. Alright, we've got that. Concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now Oof. I just killed someone. Or Let's something. turn the lights on, yeah? They, bodies. they just disappeared. I was dreaming. Well, it felt real enough to make me sick. I love that again. Great narrative technique. There's arrows saying go this way. Um, maybe don't go through the electrics. What about this one? Kick. Maybe not so helpful. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Can we go through here? No, we might have to go under something. Um. Ooh, open. We found a, a flare gun. Eerie hand painted feet revealed by my face. Something had hit chest of supplies near it. Yeah. Okay, there's there's the chest. Oh, there's a light. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, let's get out of here. Ah, so we've turned off that. Okay, so we can now go over this. This makes sense. Straightforward puzzle. Checkpoint reached. So I guess we'll just be keeping it. Ooh! Okay. Gotta pay attention while I'm playing this game. That's a normal one. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that at him. Oh well, there he goes. Let's go into that. Probably don't want to walk into the electrics. Probably a bad time. There's a little bit of a manuscript page. See, this is the best kind of novel writing because you don't actually have to write anything. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. I like that that's written from the perspective of the, um, the girl in the diner. And it's terrible. Like... It's it's just kind of like a very bad writing, um, so it's clearly like she, as if she was writing it. Oh great, scary veil lady! Cool what jungle sounds. Um, great. Let's. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself. I inside. probably shouldn't have jumped into that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a smart that's a smart me move. It's like I'm I'm like I'm not playing Uncharted. Yes, creepy baby. Let's get down there and actually use the log this time. What the hell was that? When I saw All the right. river below, 
Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. No. Well, we didn't. We just walked across this handy log. Um, I think one of the other clever things this game is doing is the narrator, like the narration by Alan Wake is written as if this is a novel. Um, and he's narrating his own story, so that's really clever. All right, where did the, no? I feel like there's some creepy sounds coming from over there. Stucky was still out there. Stucky is the out there. Stalking me. We just want to, we want to go towards the light. Yep, that will be handy. And some batteries. Okay, that's handy. Nothing's going to go wrong here. Oh, that looks like a handy kind of... I wonder if we can go back that way and just grab that. Yeah, because that looks like it might actually be a helpful box of things. Or did we just go there? <sighs> this is why you explore the map. want to see what's in the box. Okay. There's lots of kind of irradiated... Oh, another manuscript page. Let's see what else we have in this novel of ours. Barry's arrival. Dean Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Yeah, this is... That's that's really, like... That's clever writing. Like, when I say that the writing is intentionally bad, like, it's a real clever decision to actually make it... Write it that way. And write in that third person about the character as well. Um... So I'm liking this. I'm liking this weird, weird tale, I suppose. I read a lot of weird fiction, so I've written quite a few essays on this kind of topic. Um, Checkpoint reached. Cool. Oh, all right. Bro. Yeah, we got to get you into the light, my friends. It's a battery. Okay. Ooh. This is the problem with uh, playing shooting games on streaming. You're like, what am I doing? Oh. You're like, I'm going to aim and talk at the same time, and that's really hard. <laughs> uh. Barry Wheeler does sound like an Australian agent. Like, I wish my agent was Barry Wheeler. All right, let's keep let's keep Alan going. Sounds like Barry's concerned about Alan's wealthy. Oh, we love a warning sign. What does it say? Logging area head. Got that impression. Um, how about we don't get rolled by a bunch of logs? Ooh, there's a light. Come into the light down here. Surely there's like a. Whereabouts is that? It's set this way. But where could it be? Alright, we saw it here. So it says that way. Is it up there? Oh, here's a ladder. That's very convenient. Thank you, Arrows. Yeah, I'm going to be curious as to see what what's going on with Alan. Like... Is he having is he having a midlife crisis? Is he having a literary crisis? Is that something there though? No. The taken. They're taken. Are filled with darkness. Novelists are also filled with darkness. At least, you know, crimey novelists. Actually, this is a funny thing, right? Because from my experience, horror novelists are like the nicest novelists. 
horror game writers are some of the nicest people. And so you actually get this weird opposite effect where people who are writing very dark fiction <laughs> actually have very, very friendly, warm people. It's not the, it's not always the case, but um, yes, yeah, certainly, certainly, actually, you find a lot of horror writers are very friendly. <laughs> so Alan's clearly a crime writer. Uh, so we go down by that ladder. Uh, we just jump off. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. That's easier. Oof, sinister. Hopefully not everyone's getting too kind of seasick from this uh, controllers. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah, see, this is the thing, Nathan. They just get to vent all their darkness. So we're all like, we're all like, cool. Writing is therapy. We learn to talk about our fears and our feelings through fiction. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. I need weird mysterious light to remake the stairs, like in the introduction. Oh, this looks fun. Emergency. Yep. Love it. Love some batteries. It means we're probably going to have to shoot some stuff soon, so... Got to get ready for that. Seven. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. I reckon I... Again, this is, this is a really nice use of light. But let's go up here first just to see if there's anyone lurking. I want to kind of like just get a gauge for any, any mates down here. There's something there. Let's, let's just... Oh. Probably not a good idea to just jump down everything. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Our mates. Oh, we definitely need the flare gun now. That flare gun's pretty handy for groups. With Is all it... this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Yes. Is this game worth playing? That's a good question. I haven't played this game before, so I am finding that out. But this is a kind of iconic game. It's Alan Wake 1, uh, which Alan Wake 2 was a real hot contender for Game of the Year last year. So I, um, I suspect it probably would have won Game of the Year if Baldur's Gate hadn't existed. Um, so what's interesting to me here is just kind of... I just want to see why this is kind of quite notable. I think this um, probably is, I mean, if you pl I played Control and there's this very surreal kind of world that Remedy sets their games in and I really like it. So we have a shotgun now. Yeah, that's that looks like fun. Um, there's got to be a way for me to get up somewhere, so reach the path above. I think that would be the ladder that we were just on. At least we can figure that out from up here. I also guess, like, if it depends on what sort of games you're into, right? Like, if you like kind of surreal games, oh, there's some shinies. Okay, so there's a log. There's a that doodad, so we can probably sort that out now. Yeah, like, I mean, if you like surreal games, I think the Remedy games are pretty good for that. If you like kind of weird fiction, um, you know, I'm, I'm still waiting for the Lovecraftian vibes. I mean, they have very David Lynch vibes. I would say. I think in terms of comparison, Lynch is probably the best comparison. That looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to go and check out what the shiny stuff was over here before I move on. Because there was, it's just a hard hat, but there was some shiny coffee. Again, I do think the coffee is probably a Twin Peaks reference, right? <laughs> this is very Twin Peaks. Um, 
Who on the stream is a David Lynch fan? I'm really curious. Um, the gameplay is not... It's feeling like... Because it... I'm trying to think of when The Last of Us came out. Because it probably came out a little bit later than this. Or around the same time. Um... It, it kind of is a little similar, but I'd probably say it's got less stealth mechanics. Oh, yeah. God. Well, that was good. Um, it's a remastered version of the 2010 game, so the, I would say that the controls are a little clunky, but that's probably just a hangover from what it's come from and what it's been adapted to. This is super dark. Yeah, it is, it is like, it tonally, like... <laughs> I mean, you come to my stream for the competence, right? You really come, you really come to see me. I will share my secrets with you. I am, I love RPGs. I like horror games. I like mystery games. The two games that I cannot play to save my life are platformers and, um, and, uh, <gasps> racing games. So if I need to, oh, this is clever. Okay. Okay, because that balance was a little bit off. Um, so, yeah, if, you, if I have to do any platforming in this, this is going to be kind of hilarious. I would say the puzzles are fairly straightforward. You know, it's simple kind of turning on the generator, um, you know, connecting things, just being quite observational. Yeah, I know. Lame fall damage. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, I can be lame sometimes, and I'm cool with that. Turn on, weird radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, mm. step outside for a spell. Oh, we we've got a light here. Where's that saying? The weather's absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Yeah, it's, it's giving me very... What? I'm a night owl and it's on Can I take like the... Shovel? No. Makes an old man like me. Surely there's some cool stuff around here, right? No, I'm, I'm probably just running in circles up the hill. <laughs> oh, here we go. So is this leading the way? Pick up manuscript. Oh, my, my people writing about me. This is so fun. Wake fights At first pages. I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Okay, the ego on this guy is like massive because he thinks he can save he can save like himself and his partner with his novel. <laughs> I think I think he's going to find that pride goeth before fall. The gas station was closer now. It's oh, light so welcoming the coffee. darkness. All right, we we're, we're going to get some chase, I think soon. I feel like someone's going to chase after me in the darkness very shortly. This is giving me heebie-jeebies. Let's let's start this. Ah, oh, pressure. I think also too I can see the influence this has had on games like um, I think some of the games like the Medium, like the Bluebe Studio games, which uh, if you played, um, you know, uh, the, so the Medium or. Uh, what's the other games they've got? They've got um, the the art one, which I reviewed on my channel, uh, which has quite cool like design in it. I quite like the design of that game. The environment design of these games is really interesting. What is that? Um, and it uses a similar kind of mechanic from like this with the torches. Okay. Oh. Float like a butterfly, yes, we are absolutely 
Uh, reloading the shotgun. Oh, someone's throwing axes at me. I mean, new definition of axe murder, right? Alright, where are we going now? I guess we're just following the hill. Oh, here we go. Here's some safe haven. We want that. Let's get up here. Now it's... Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! There's this... Oh, batteries. We need batteries. Okay, reload, reload, reload! I do like that it's just letting me know that... This is really just a quest to find his book. What else are we... TV in the... There's a TV in the gas station. Okay. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen talking like a madman. Don't we all when we binged too much TV? Just find ourselves talking in our in our homes like madmen. Uh, I assume we go up here. Um, yeah, I think yeah, the quarry. This does feel like a bit of the super massive games as well. You know, like um, the Dark Pictures anthology, which is something I had actually considered playing on this stream. Um, which the I wasn't sure how violent it was going to be, so I was kind of a bit. Uh, maybe don't jump down there. It's... Okay, so we came up the hill. We opened that up. I think we can go down here now. Having one of those, like, where am I? I think, obviously, that's a great feature of horror games is when... What's this? Is that an arrow? Alright, someone's coming after me, maybe? Can we go out through these doors? Probably not, they look very strong. Alright, let's go down the hill again. Yeah, the quarry, quarry was an interesting game to me. I think um, the game, the Until Dawn, was better. And I have some theories on how that is a better game because there's less characters. I think the mathematics on the quarry doesn't actually um, add up for... The narrative because as soon as a few people died in your narrative okay do we have a we don't have we're out of ammo so we're just gonna have to beam into the light this guy's pretty well dressed for like okay yeah he's chased by his his novels which as an author you know your novels come to haunt you it is a metaphor for life what is on the ground here is that a light or a piece of my book oh my gosh this book wake lies to the sheriff the cabin on cauldron lake she asked the sheriff looked at me suspiciously the early morning light flooded through the office windows i would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help but I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Alice. All right, we gotta find Alice. Maybe Alice doesn't want to be found. Maybe that's why he's not been writing because he's de been dealing with Alice's death. That gives me if I was writing this, like, I would be kind of like, that's maybe where I'd be going. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. Okay. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. This is one thing I do love about, um... 
I loved in Remedy. Uh, love loved in um, Control was the TV interstitials and the like really creepy puppet things that were going on. Yeah, this is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barkley Colvin, <laughs> and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. The Moorcock Institute! Okay, we've got Michael Moorcock references now. The many worlds interpretation. Oh, it's the Alan Wake multiverse. Millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment, known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's <laughs> I love how badly dubbed this is, too. Please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon oh, against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. Yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. This is just explaining Under the entire no plot of the game. Can this gun kill me? So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes. This yes, is this is like narrative design 101. It's like the player makes two choices to pull the trigger or not to pull the trigger. Always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. You're insane. <gasps> poor, poor Dr. Colvin, filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Okay, I, yeah, this is kind of very the clever. Opened, the decaying Adam unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. I love. I, see, I really like this kind of game making where they're like, you reward an observant gamer, right? So you're giving the gamer a little present for stopping to take the time to like examine what they've made. And I think that's a really, that's a very cool thing. That makes, that's, I don't know, like I'm... Oh, so we want to go into the time, the weird time zone. We've got, oh my gosh, okay, this clearly, like, there's clearly some people are going to be, like, shooting at me very soon. I guess we go down here. Ooh. Okay, we've got a person over here. Oh, it's, it's, it's Colvin. Okay, do I don't have any No. Wow, I'm gonna this is challenging, but Alright. Don't mind me, I might not talk for a little bit because I've got to deal with a guy with a signal. Uh We need to deal with Colvin over here. Oh, there's more of them. Fun times. I think it's actually clever aiming as well with- Oh! Okay, that person just kind of- Alright. Oh, there's someone behind me! We've got to deal with Colvin the Axe Murderer. Where is he now? Let's just keep running and hopefully the game will tell us when he comes up behind us next. Ah! Ah! Okay! Creepy 
man. Creepy, creepy serial killer man. Alright, he's over here somewhere. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Guaranteed if I go to one place he'll sneak up on me, so that's fine. Is that open? Open the door! Come on! Oh! Okay. I probably won't open until I've dealt with this man. Okay. Where is he? Ooh, come on, come on. Dis dissipate, dissipate, mate. Oh, come on. That was just rude. Okay, there he is. How do I have to have... Oh, one. Oof, Nordic walking. Stucky's body vanished, Oof. leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. He's um, clearly going to have some trauma after this game. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I think the remaster would be in 4K. I can't. I wouldn't be able to tell off the top of my head from just looking at it. But yeah, I would say yeah, it looks pretty good. The I lights recognize lovely. the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Okay, where's the door? We gotta find the door. How do we get in there? I guess we just keep running around until we find it. This is actually quite fun. I'm I've After really enjoyed playing I a shooter. Just experienced in the darkness. Let's look the, the lights bins, of the gas station raccoon. felt comforting, at least for a moment. The same world reasserted itself. Ah, <sighs> okay. We can relax. We're in the light. We're like flies. Oh, there's that weird, the weird thing that we saw on our way here. So we saw this as we were coming in on the boat. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. Yes. If the day count on the banner was right. I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. I just noticed that. I feel like I'm an observant gamer. Oof. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. There's been a lot of fights in my in my weird Alan Wake brain at the moment. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. <laughs> outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. Oh I'll my gosh! I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I had thought of that. Um... It'd been me on the TV talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Yes, you are. It's called writing a novel. Um, I'm writing my novel at the moment, and I've got to say, that's just like literal footage of me writing my novel, wandering around my office going, Is the edit all right? Is it fine? Is it fine? Will people like it? I don't know. I'm crazy. And like half the time you spend like not actually working on your novel, you're just like, cool. Uh, what can we get here? Is this something we can get here? We get a special offer with the coupon. Uh, use the phone. Let's make a phone call. Bright Ball Sheriff Station. Whew, the cops are here. We're not dreaming. Or are we dreaming the cops? I don't know. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. You're also a novelist. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. 
This is always this is the classic crime novel problem. Is like you can't tell the cops because they won't believe you. Well, crime horror novel, you know, it's like the authorities won't expect. What's going on? It's all very mysterious. Now he's going to go somewhere else apart from the gas station. To the lighthouse? Across the lake? <laughs> I came to write forth with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. This is a metaphorical no, TV nice. show. Alice? Alice? See, I mean, if they're looking for behind, video games to turn into TV car. shows. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2, taken. Oh, he's going to get seriously like Liam Neeson style. Three years ago in New York City. Oh, this is like iconic. I'm a novelist who lives in New York with my agent Barry and my really beautiful wife. And it's clear he's well adjusted here right now because he has no facial hair. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How hey. was it? Hey, sweetie. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Yeah. Coffee's on. Great. Oh, American Thanks. coffee. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Okay, this is like my dream house. This is like a big library. This is super nice. Uh, TV, TV can, you know, he's got lots of books to read. What's wrong with that? Let's see what sort of books he's got on his bookshelf. I'm very judgy about books. Like, I, when I go to someone's house, the first thing I do is check out what books they have on their bookshelves. And I can tell if we're going to oh, be hey, friends. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. I hope I get a trophy for... I can for... perform all sorts of miracles, <laughs> my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Okay, so this is this is his author photos, but it's interesting because he's got a beard in them. So clearly the timeline's all messed up. Can't go in there. What's in here? Nip. Oh, I'm sure there's a whole thing about homes in video games. The other one I think of, it's making me think of Heavy Rain. If anyone's played really that good. game. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> can we can we scan Alice! this QR code in the game? I'm just gonna Alice, do that with my phone right check now. The fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Oh, it's taken. Okay, so it actually takes you to a. I won't. I can't get it up on the stream right now, but the QR code takes you to a YouTube video, which is I unlisted, really like and it's had two hundred seventy-seven thousand views. So everyone's as curious as I am. Alan Wake's books, The Fall of Casey, an after Alex Casey Alan, thriller. I really need those lights on. Yeah, I know you need the lights on, honey, but I'm looking at my books. So is the things that I want, Alex Casey, what I can't forget, return to sender. Alan, please, check the fuse box. He's it's won some hallway. golden guns. Okay, not in the bathroom. The fuse box is not in the bathroom. Ooh. Yeah, okay, this is like prime. This has given me I some real control vibes here. This, We're just going through box. all the doors. It's in the hallway. There we go. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Uh, so, we are going to... We're going to go to Alice. Alice. I mean, Alice is also Hi. a prime kind of like... You okay? Um, I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break out the candles. So yeah, I mean, I naming her stupid. Alice is reminiscent just, of Alice in Wonderland too, so it's got that dream, dream quality. You know? It gets to me. 
I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> Can I just I say, nobody asks you that when you're a writer. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. This is if the I last of us. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. Can I, can I also I say that you. when you're a writer, Even if you are alive, nobody comes to you and says, can you this. tell me a story? They're like more like, I'm really sick of hearing you talk about your stories because you won't shut up about them. So please just, we don't need to hear any more about that. Life is good for Alan Wake. I don't know why, you know, why he's having such visions. The present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? No. Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? No. <laughs> yeah, weird, weird stuff keeps happening to me, but I'm, I'm not okay. going to tell you. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. <sighs> you should take it easy for a couple of days. Sure. Thanks. I would, I would well, like to see more narrative done. choice here. Like you could choose to lie to him or not. Experience any other symptoms? You should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. We need to make a statement. I hope I get a trophy for all these coffees I've collected. All right, we're now in the police station. Who's this? Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. It's Log Lady. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. What is going on here? Examine. Yeah, Ooh, we can put that APD. Here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look. All right, what else have we got? We've got, oh, see, this is the thing is like uh, these games, like if you explore the corners, you'll find the whole novel, but obviously. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. I mean, if this is a horror novel, it's not just, it's not just a bush. It's fine. It, there is very much a lady in there. Nope. Mr. Wake, Mr. the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. See, again, the game telling me where I need to go. Sarah Breaker. Come Breaker, in, Breaker. Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Cool. Thanks. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her <laughs> what had happened last <laughs> night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Well, there's this person controlling the video game, and Excuse that's me. how I ended up I at Stucky's gas station. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the Go to the back lot. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. Is it, is it a finger? Cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's oh. life was at stake. Okay, so how do we get to the back lot? Oh, we can read something. Have you seen this man? Isn't that that guy that was in the... Oh, more brain circuits. All right, I need to get out of here, but into the back lot. All I right. need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, here Mr. we go. Wake. You can get there through the cell hey, corridor. Mister. 
Can the, the game say... I... The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Through the fence on the left. There's a fence. Uh, maybe through there? Oh, there's more coffee. Hang on, we need the coffee. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, am I? <laughs> Is there a door here? Am I? Am I losing my mind? Okay, I maybe the. This is going to be the hardest puzzle we do today, which is how do we get through the fence? <laughs> okay, okay, let me just think about this. I have to go there. So, do I climb up on here and then jump? Yeah, there we go. We're in the garden. Let's kick that down. And let's get another page of my book. My searing novel. <laughs> Alice's driver's license Thanks, had been Cario. placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Maybe. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Can I get back over here? Yeah, I think, um, I reckon it's all Barry's fault. I reckon he's got some issues. He needs a new book. He wants to hold Alan captive to get his novel going. Is someone in prison here? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from Ooh. darkness. Shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop... The world I'm making dies. Again, Darkness will reclaim it. This is me it's writing a, long, a novel. It's a hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The <gasps> dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting meta Alice, meta narrative right there, I right? It's like I'm writing the story the as I'm playing the story. Might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? Oh, yeah. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under... Of course not. But I know where you'll be staying, so I can get in touch with you. I Don't leave the town. Motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. <laughs> the at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh my gosh, it's the clinic man. Okay. Really? Are you going to punch someone in the sheriff's department? Like, that's not the smartest thing to do. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. His agent... It's Barry! Barry! you talk to me. Oh my god, Barry! yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. This is what, I mean, this is what yeah, every yeah. literary agent looks like. He's giving me Newman out of, um, out of, uh, Jurassic about, Park Al? vibes here. We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. We don't need a I replay of the thing. That, this is mistaken that everything. people think he that paparazzi so follow writers around the like they happen. don't. They the don't. fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere Lover's in Elderwood Peak. National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Okay, Barry's already my favorite Just character. Wait. You found him. I rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Right. <laughs> I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Barry. Who's Max? 
Barry knows what's up. Barry's got his hockey what kit on too. Like, jeez, Mister takes a swing at oh everybody. Oh my gosh! What this a is jerk! Not her fault. She's a very nice girl, and more importantly, a fan. She, she even is has a, a fan very nice girl. To you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Yeah, just what, listen to you yourself. You shot a guy, and his body just disappeared. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, no, Barry is the voice of reason in this game. I think Barry actually is making a lot of sense here. Clearly, Alan's had too much caffeine. He's trying to write a novel. He's in, drank too much coffee and he's having issues. So we're talking to Rusty. Where's Rusty? Where's our mate Rusty? Uh, anything out? Oh, yeah, is this. Easy there, oh, boy. is this a I'm dog? Hey, Rusty, right? Oh, You're Rusty. at Cabin's. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry oh. about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that Poor doesn't stop dog. some lowlifes. <sighs> Well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. <laughs> Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Cool. So we've got a form. We've got Rusty. I actually they need to... just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. I'm not She's my wife, to cops. and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. <laughs> if you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Yeah, Chile, you. It's, uh, yeah, we all need Barry in our lives. Like, we all need a guy in a Hawaiian shirt and a red puffer jacket telling giving us life advice because he's actually on point um also yeah he's he's yeah we need him we need him in our lives to stop us from being alan wake uh but yeah welcome to the stream thanks for hanging out uh this game is very talky like there is a lot of talking in this game i've got to say it's kind of frenetic i like how they're using it oh we're going back to rusty to give him a form because it gives you that sense of like feeling really uncomfortable but um yeah it's like hand over the form to barry and I dog this me is the form you wanted and here are the keys thanks mate. okay you're all set mr wake glad to have you staying here thanks can you tell me how to get to lover's peak oh sure how do it's i get at the to end of the peak? nature trail just follow the paths you'll get to it eventually mm. it's an easy walk nice spot too <laughs> i love how he's like yeah it's an easy walk and i'm like i'm pretty sure it's not going to be easy there's going to be like weird shadow Look, people on Al, it you're asking me to believe that you <laughs> shot a who went poof, into thin air a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him you hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms strapped <laughs> to their beds wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. Yes. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Yeah, Period. I agree with that. Guess the laugh's on me then. I don't... Al, come I'm on. not into homeopathy. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. This is very true, right? Because, uh -huh. like, in the movies and in, you know, in games and stuff, 
I've had an agent, like a literary agent, they don't just turn up at where you're on holidays. Like they just send you an email and just, you know, how's things going? Like it's, it's not, <laughs> yeah, this is, um, we're going to, we're going to go up to the mountain, mountain top. Because nothing bad ever happens in cabins in the woods on the mountain top in video games. Al, 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 we should call Al? the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. You Al... said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not Aww. right in the head. Barry's his best friend. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. And Alan probably means like the literal cav cavalry, right? She's like, send someone into the horse. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. <laughs> Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance What's all this over again. I can't say it. Deliverance? <laughs> Bless you. Oh my gosh, have you seen Deliverance? Because that is an amazing movie, but it's kind of terrifying. Oh, books? 15%, yeah, that, that's, yeah. Uh, some more coffee. We're just going to keep drinking coffee. And we're going to go out. Oh, let's, let's turn the lights on first, yeah? Oh, no, we're turning, let's keep them on. Keeping them on is a good decision. Okay, we are back. Um, for those of you watching on the stream, have you played Alan Wake 1 or 2? Because I have never played this game before. It's a fun time. I'm actually really enjoying it. Straight yeah, Barry's still talking. <laughs> Barry's like, I'm, I'm just going to keep talking. More manuscripts. More bad novels. Okay. Let's just go down this hill to go up the hill. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still <laughs> angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. How could you be angry at Barry for just trying to help? What's over here? A raccoon? Is there like a little, there's a little outhouse building up here. Ooh, a radio. Welcome back to the show, folks, as promised. Very, very strange. Ooh, we Fest can open the wardrobe. The Doc, your Ammo's always My welcome. Plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seek the man. Oh, we can turn the lights on too. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got most of the stuff in there. Let's keep going. Down the hill. Oh, so one of the things I was, I've been watching last night and I was so excited about is the Fallout TV show, which is amazing. I don't know if you've been watching it, but it is so good. As someone who loves Fallout, I was having the best time watching it. And I think you can enjoy it even if you've never played Fallout, but I loved it um, just Walter Goggins as the ghoul is just brilliant um, he is absolutely so funny and I think most of the main characters are kind of based on fallout archetypes but um, okay what the raven let's open this up and see what's inside nothing don't you love it when you open a wardrobe and nothing's there That's creepy because there's no power. Oh, it's another one of these weird TV shows. We're gonna watch this because it's so cool. Oh, you've got the Fallout TTRPG. I really want to play that. I really want to play that. That's awesome. Man in the mirror. Yeah, I I love Fallout. Like, I have cosplayed Fallout. Yeah. The... Yeah, but well, why would you do that? I'd be I mean, interested in the classes you can play in a Fallout TTRPG as well. So how come at the game you pick a guy and quoting from the arresting officer's report here, 
assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, yeah, so like Fallout TTRPG, I can imagine you'd have like classes like you could play as a raider. I kind of want to play as a giant super mutant. That'd be so fun. <laughs> Just going around the countryside being, oh, smash. Um, I'm assuming this is the what Do not feed the wildlife. Cool. That's not ominous or anything. <laughs> nice look out here. Look at this pretty, pretty location. This looks a lot like uh, Yosemite National Park. Um, which I've been to. It's really beautiful in the US. Okay, so we've got an update on uh, Fallout classes. Uh, we have, what is it? Vault Dweller, Vault Tech Security, Wastelander, Ghoul, Super Mutant, Mr. Handy! Oh my gosh, I would play Mr. Handy. Because who doesn't want to be like, you know, Cogsworth and talk like this? It's like, Mom. I can help you with your problems. The vision left me weak. This was no headache. Okay. Lucky, hang on. Coming. Please. What's going on here? Oof. Weird things. Where where is Rusty? Rusty. Rusty, where are you, mate? Can you I can hear you. I think he's in there. The ranger's office was locked. It's locked. I need a key to get in. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Churchill. It's been because I, I played Fallout Three, Four, and Vegas and Seventy Six. So I am a little obsessed. I have put like four hundred hours into Fallout Four. I love it. Um, I just love wandering around the wasteland, right? It's just, I had actually thought of streaming it a bit because it's just, it's a cool game. And just the aesthetic of it is so cool. Like, just the way that they've combined that kind of 1950s and 60s with, um, with the nuclear kind of. Oh, geez, what's going on here? The red brooches are out. Oh, hell. It happened, just the way it was on that page. I found, it came true. It knew. So Gotta let the dog dark. out. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights, in the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll I would be right certainly. Back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. Oh, it see? would help me understand what had happened. This is making me think of Dogmate, who is everybody's favorite companion in uh, Fallout. No bones about it. Um, basically, like, I mean, I don't know about you, but if you're playing Fallout and you have a companion, you just like, and you have to do a quest with the companion, as soon as the quest is done, you ditch them for Dogmate and get Dogmate back, because Dogmate is... The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. All right. Let's figure out where the power is. Oh, manuscript page. Okay, I think there's some lights over here. A dog called Husky. See, I have a cat, but I love dogs as well. And, um, is there a, where is the, where's the, it's not here. Okay, let's keep looking. Let's keep going. This is it over here at all? No. Get the lights on. Don't get electrocuted. Surely it's in in here somewhere. Um. Yeah, I I really like dogs a lot. They're good, loyal loyal friends. Had a Springer Spaniel for a long time growing up, who is a beautiful dog. Um, all right, I am. Maybe it's in the Ranger office. Was I not listening properly? <laughs> Probably in here. Oh, I've got the key. Mm. Smart. Um, 
Yeah, I reckon in the Fallout TTRPG, I'd probably play like a Vault Dweller would be fun because you could be really oblivious and like, Vault Tech loves you. Um, not in there? Okay, let's go in here. What's in here? Uh, a lot of this is just looking through offices. Open. We want batteries and we want ammo. That's going to be helpful. Here we go. That was too late. Um, Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. That's... There was no way to get the lights back on. That's one way to turn the lights off. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, we gotta we gotta run for him. What is going on over here? The was covered with oily patches Oof. that looked like liquid darkness. Ooh. It's a lumberjack. Evil lumberjacks. back in. Let's go see if... What is going on with Something this? Had torn a no more Baldur's Gate! I know, right? Um, yeah, we finished the Platinum run-through and so we're doing Alan Please Wake. Don't feed the animals! Don't feed the animals. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, we're doing... I'm having a Baldur's Gate break. Fishing. And I've wanted to play Alan Wake 1 and 2. And there's lots of... There's axe-wielding park rangers in this game. And we're gonna, we're gonna target them with our torches. Alan Wake really needs to get a head torch. All right, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? It's against the. He's a very, very aggro park ranger. Come on, bro. We're running out of batteries. Where is he? Oh, hang on. No, I don't want to kill Barry. Oh, Barry. No, no, that's not Barry. That's Park. That's Rusty. These are all author names. They're like. Okay, you gotta wait for it to reload. Oh, sorry, Rusty. Next, there'll be a guy called Larry. Yeah, Alan. Alan Wake. I mean, whoa. Okay. So this is um, very much an iconic kind of piece of narrative. I think this is it did win quite a few awards for when it came out. Uh, okay, we can just have a little breather now, a little chat. We've got enough ammo, so that's good news. Oh, there's another piece of my book. Um, yeah, Crippled Gamer. How's things? Um, this is less chill than Baldur's Gate, I think, but hey, it's fun. It's fun. I'm enjoying the weirdness of it. It's very Twin Peaks. Alright, where are we going now? Reach Lover's Peak. Can I go up this tree? No, not like the first chapter where it's running up trees all day. Uh, Lover's Peak. Can we go? No? Alright. Let's maybe follow the sign, hey? There's a big sign that says Lover's Peak this way. So, oh, <laughs> wow, that's really smart of me. There's a big hole in the fence there where I need to get to Lover's Peak. Oh my gosh, you got an internet upgrade. I'm so envious. Oh, it's, it's like... I mean, the internet's been a bit stable. I actually switched over to Streamlabs uh, for streaming because I was having so many issues with my... Um, 
Sesame Street. And that's been a lot more stable, I think, than my setup previously. Are we going to go on a ride? Is the light going to talk to me? Oof, okay. Stand in the light, absorb some sunshine. Let's get to Lover's Peak. Barry's Forget calling us. Barry. It's just me going Barry. crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. I'm not crazy. Oh, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Oh, I'm so jealous. Okay, full fiber next to your PC. That is that is a nice... That is nice. I've been talking about when I get my new fancy fandangled computer. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna get like a get fiber to my room, but also it is not like it. We've got that. Um, yeah, it's not kind of like very easy to get that to my office because it's like the furthest room from the modem or from the NBN. So it's kind of like okay, great. What's in here? Anything cool up here? Nope. Um. Yeah, so it's like, it would be very challenging to get the, um... Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Moonshine Cave. I know it says Lover's Peak that way, but who doesn't want to go into the Moonshine Cave? I want to go into Moonshine Cave. Is there any moonshine in here? Oh, yes, there's a, like a little, um... All right, that's a very cute cave, but yeah. Moonshine Cave, site of frequent bootlegger activity through the prohibition. I cannot talk like an American, because I'm Australian. How do we get, okay, it's up there. So there's a secret stash. Oh yeah, we want a shotgun, thank you. Let's open that up. Oof, we are well equipped and ammo excellent so let's go let's get back to the the nature trail yes you can live stream again that's exciting what are you gonna live stream next arc so you gonna do some are you gonna live stream fallout Let's get out of the Moonshine Cavern. You know, I actually camped. I remember really vividly. I was traveling around America for three months in a tent and a car and stayed at like a moonshine campground. And it was the coldest because we were in the Rocky Mountains in just as kind of was coming to. What's that? Uh, let's just shoot things. Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah. I think it might be time to get the flare gun out. Oh. Let's run over to the flare gun so they run through the flare. Is that... Nope. Okay, we're gonna just... Ooh. Okay, we've got them in the flare gun. That's nice. That is nice. All right. All right. Well, that's... Whew, okay. No more flares for me. I'm just going to have to deal with them myself with my shotgun. There's a portaloo. I mean... Some batteries? I want to make a phone call. Um, yeah, so camping in the Rocky Mountains at the turn of kind of into fall was so cold and I have like a down sleeping bag and everything and it's just it was absolutely freezing. Anything cool over here? I've got a shotgun. Now we're just going up the mountain I suppose. Love a bit of hiking. 
I'll maybe I'll read the book later. <laughs> it's like it's like what every novelist wants to hear is like, can you read my can you read my manuscript? Unless it's actually really good. One of the things about being a novelist is you have to learn to self-edit. So it's kind of actually more about learning to edit your own work versus getting other... You still need other people to look at it, but where are we going? I feel like people are just going to come out of the bush. I don't even know where we are now. We're lost in the forest. I guess I'll go up here? I guess the game will stop me if I can't go any further. Okay, I can't go any further. If we go down here, we might find where the path was. Oh my goodness. It's kind of... Uh oh. Alright. Oh, oh, God! Okay, there's people here that I didn't know were here. Insert battery! I'm gonna die soon. Ooh, I don't even know where I am. Come on, dude. Ah, uh, there's so many trees in the way. Help! Okay, let's get one guy out. Okay. Uh, oh, people are throwing their you know, axes at me. That's, that's, that's a very non-axe murderer thing to do. <laughs> yeah, this is giving very, like, horror. I mean, it's... Okay. I assume I go down here, where all the bad guys were? Oh, the path's just here. Okay. Um, the great... The Great Old One. Okay, this is really Lovecraftian then. <laughs> the Great Old One felled by lightning. Wow. Should I go through here? Let's read it. It's a Rocky Mountain Douglas fir. Alright. Uh, over 200 years old. It's stretched beyond the stars. That sounds like a Lovecraftian tree if ever I heard one. Yikes, yikes, let's just run away a bit. Oh man. There's so many people. Let's get this. Let's get the guy in the knee. Dodge those. Got to be careful about those um, those th throwing axes. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Got the adrenaline pumping. <laughs> I need a. Uh, I need less. Um... Okay. Lover's Peak is this way. All right. Let's get to a checkpoint. Oh, there's a light. We can get some health. Thank goodness. Wow. Oof. A little bit of adrenaline going there. It's been so long since I've played a shooter. I really like them, but I just like kind of still getting used to it. All right, we're just gonna chill now that we've got the lights on. Open this for some supplies. Are you folks um horror fans at all? Like, I mean, how much? What kind of horror do you like? Because I feel like there's a whole bunch of different horrors, right? I much prefer kind of Lovecraftian, uh, the kind of classic 19th century stuff. This guy's gonna stop putting axes in just about every electrical item there is around the place. Like, really not, you know, sustainable. The infrastructure is gonna need to be restored. Oh, great! Well, for anyone who's been watching Fallout, 
Also, that's really nice light there, how it's doing that kind of reflective sense from, um, like a reflective sign. Um, anyone who's been watching the Fallout TV show knows that bears are in the woods. If you go down to the woods today. There's another serial killer man. Oh, great. Okay. Um. Ooh. Oh, there's like heaps of them. Okay. So battery, we're running out of batteries. I'm gonna run down here. Oh yeah. Oh god, all the throwing axes. Alright, uh I tried to dodge that. Oh man, there's like so many of them! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh god, okay. I just ran into a whole part of them. Should probably work your way backwards versus... There's no bears here. There's like... There's like lots of zombie shadow men. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we know. We're just gonna... We need a stealth mode in here so we can... I would really appreciate a stealth mode right now. We know you're here. Yeah, see? I can see you. Classic shooter mode. I'm gonna go back up the hill. We're gonna keep our back to the wall. There we go. Our mates. Alright, I really wish I had the, um... I really wish I had that flare gun right now. Oof. Oof. Let's go up that hill. Yikes! Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Just sitting in our castle, just shooting at things. Yeah, the timing of this is pretty interesting. It's kind of like a good balance here. Okay. Whew. Okay, there's a good balance here between like managing your battery, managing your weapon, and your health and being overwhelmed so it'll be interesting to see how yeah this this kind of happens oh the first alien film okay chill are you uh you speak my language i love the first alien film i think it is amazing it's a masterpiece it is uh one of my favorite films of all time i've seen it probably 20 times Ripley is so good. I get something out of it every single time I see it. What's down here? Uh, motor vehicles, dogs, hiking trail. Uh, this dates from 1846, the year of the Oregon Treaty. Is this an Oregon Trail reference? Um, yeah, I, I love Aliens so much. So much. It's this. You're absolutely right. The suspense is so good. Um, you know what else is good is like just the way it's not it's a little gritty right it's made kind of like with this really gritty VHS aesthetic and I saw it back to back at the IMAX with Alien 2 and I actually don't like the polish that Alien 2 has and I also think it does a few things with Ripley's character that I'm not a massive fan of um, I just think that it kind of um, I don't know, like, she's super professional in Alien 1, right? And then in the second one, they're like, oh, yeah, she's going to be a mother and stuff. And I get it, but I kind of... I kind of also really want to, like... I like her in Alien 1 a lot more. I And also just, yeah. Oh, we're going on a little cable car. Um, also, like, Jonesy, you know, the cat uh, is brilliant. Uh... 
the the characters and just how it's so set up like that whole horror sequence with you know what's the matter the food ain't bad um you know it's a good time um yeah i mean i've even got my first alien movie that i watched was <laughs> alien a resurrection which people don't like but i was like I was a teenager when I saw it with my dad and it is one of the most amazing cinematic experiences I've ever had. I just thought it was so cool. I'm like, I'm like, this is the coolest thing. There's a female hero, you know, you, you know, there's like all this kind of gore and like, you know, it was just, it was really fun. Um, so I love that. Shit. Oh, great. Bad time. Whew, that bump on the head's just gonna oh, gonna get worse. There's more weird shadow people. Uh oh. Has his wife come to save him? No, it's military man. Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Or is it a prepper? Is he a prepper? Mountain that guy. flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Oh, Rx, so you're doing, are you doing a Star Wars tabletop role-playing game on, on May the 4th? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Hold down R1 yeah, to use a flare. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. <laughs> Just keep that light steady on him. I've got a gun. But then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here. In <gasps> he knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, he's wait. the kidnapper. Okay, so this guy's good at. Sh he must be a prepper. Okay. There's more people? Oh, hello. Am I gonna run? Oh no, I've got lots of batteries, that's fine. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like them when they sneak up on you. <laughs> yeah, we've got that guy. Come on, shoot this guy for me. I can't shoot him. Why isn't this guy shooting him? Okay, alright, there we got it. Uh, have I watched any more recent alien films? Yeah, I have. I've watched, I think I've watched all of them. Because I really like Alien. <laughs> Ripley's one of my favourite characters from science fiction. Um... Yeah, I've seen Covenant. I saw um, Prometheus. Stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. All right. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for fast. Okay, there's more of them. There's more of them. Hold down our one to use a flare. All right, let's get these guys out. Yeah. Scare them off with the flares. Flare them off. Get some light on those bastards. That'll keep them off. Oh, okay, so we can walk around with a flare gun. Alright, let's just Just a little longer. I almost got it. Yeah, we just we just wave it in their faces. Alright. Move it or lose it. Love alright. Move it or lose it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Still staying down there, bro. Just get upstairs. All right. Oh, you feeling better now, Wake? <laughs> we need this tough guy in our lives, cause you know, Wake. He's he's. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Yeah, they'll be on us soon.
Oh, hang on. We need to go and get this coffee thing. I'm determined to pick up all these coffee thermoses and just drink them all at once. Not sure what they actually do. This is it, Wake. The last stand. The <laughs> last stand with a garbage Get bin. <laughs> we fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. So, are you gonna give? This is the thing I don't get. It's like, why would a novelist be better with a gun than like a, um, than a militant kidnapper? You just leave it there and shoot at stuff. Yeah, we just, we just leave that there and then they can't get at us. There we go. Let's just... All right, defend the viewing platform. We need a better torch. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, I hate these guys who keep throwing their bloody axes at me. So, oh, there's a guy coming from over the hill. Oh, I don't have any more. Okay, we just gonna avoid some axe throwing maniacs. Oh my gosh! Okay, gotta save some save some flares. We gotta be less less aggressive with the flare usage. Yeah, so chill. Um, what's your favorite alien movie here? Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Okay, let's get some flares. I need the blast trees, dude. Okay, let's. That'll help. So then we've got to. Shine a light on these mates. Uh, need a battery. My coordination is like. Alright. Okay, so you can really, really. Get them with the flares. Ah, oh, mate, I hate the axe throwing guys. Alright, we're going back here. We're not going to use up all our flares at once. <laughs> yeah, get this guy, get this guy out of here. You know, throwing, not throwing me any, any axes. Okay, now we need, definitely need a flare. Get flares on these guys. Yep. Yeah, you're done. We'll get the torch on them. We got no torch. Got no. Oh, mate! Oh. All right, everybody, enjoy looking at my flare usage. Yeah, I have a soft spot. I think three's a lot better than people give it credit for. Okay. Okay, let's. Okay, one flare. Wait for them to get close. Okay, that guy's got. Oh, where did you come from? I keep them off with the batteries when I can, and then I'll use the flares for the big crowd. Alright, they're done. Here comes here comes the gang. Alright. I mean it's so much easier when you know what's actually coming, right? What really Oh, oh, oh. Back, 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 I say yes. Out damn spot. Alright, we've got to get these guys away. Yep. Alright. Oh, there's another one coming. At least we've got some health back. Oh, bro, bro. Okay. Yeah, this is getting close. Is that battery? 
This has got my like serious concentration face on now. I really need. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I need to get this guy's knees. Whoa! I just did like the Matrix bullet time. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm getting stabbed by everyone else. No! 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 Oh man, the dodging in this. Look, a poor craftsman blames his tools. Yeah, I haven't seen three for ages, so. Okay, we're just gonna. I think we're gonna need the flares for the close combat. As soon as I can. Oh, come on, don't throw the bloody axes at me anymore. Okay, we've got that one there. Probably wasted that, but that's fine. Alright. Yeah, we've got this guy done. Um, Alright, that's them done. Now they're going to come from up here, so... They might still come from behind, because that'll be fun. Yeah, we're not gonna... Alright, we need that for the... It's very hard to talk and shoot at the same time, I've got to say. It's multitasking is extremely hard. Do not throw another axe at me, my friend. Okay, don't... Alright, that guy's down. And then there's a guy up here, which I really want to get with this thing. Yep. Gonna jump down into there. Oh, I'm worried I'm gonna end up. We have no battery left. So is this? Oh my gosh! There's a big guy, and there's absolutely like one bit of battery left. <laughs> All right, let's run away because it's a good strategy. I don't have any more batteries. What am I gonna do? It's called good resource management. That I'm just gonna run away and let Armor Man deal with it. I've got no torchlight. Yes! Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was fun. Let's cut the act now. Yeah. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some proper editorial control. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? He's Where's his editor. Else? I want the entire manuscript or she's going to suffer bad. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is just a strategy to get him to write his novel. It's all about, this is a game about procrastination. It's not actually any of this is real. It's just him procrastinating on working on his novel. Oh my gosh. Give me the gun. Oh, Alan. Oh, Al. Big Al. Give him the manuscript. This no, is hilarious. I need someone I like this I'll in my life, going like, "Do you hear me? Come back here!" Give me holding the manuscript hostage, essentially. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. I've got to get back to Barry and write my novel. Is it? Should we go that way? Oh no, that's how you're meant to come down. I just jumped. <laughs> Shortcut. Yeah, this is kind of hilarious. It's all over. This is very Stephen King. Whoa. Oh, it's a bear trap. Oh. More axe building maniacs. Crapper City. I guess let's go this way. 
Any, can we see any more traps around the place? Traps around the traps. Oh yeah, we don't want that. Can I avoid that? Maybe we can lead the bad guys into one though. Wow, that's, um, someone's been enthusiastic about the trap. See, who, who says this isn't Boulder's Gate? Someone's been really enthusiastic about the trap making here. I really don't want to walk back. Jeez, how many traps are there? Traps, traps, traps. Oh, that's actually ammo. That's stuff we want. I bet it's booby trapped. Alright. Anything else? Anything else we need? Let's go this way. <laughs> oh my gosh. There is an alien video game, actually. I had thought about giving it a go. It would make a pretty cool game. So a friend of mine actually wrote one of the Alien tie-in novels, which I read this year, which was really good. Um, Aliens Bishop, which is about Bishop, and had some really cool... Whoa! Whoa! Um, okay, let's shoot at this guy. Shoot this guy first, and then we've got to light this guy. Oh! Oh my, my! The sneaky, the sneaky ones in the bush are really killing me here. Need a commando roll control. What have I got? I've got one flare and I've got a gun, so and four batteries. Please tell me I don't have to go through all the traps here. Go. We know you're coming. And there's this bloke. Whoa! Ah! Reload! Dodge your sneaky nice axe attack. Alright. Okay. Is it going to play the, like, we're done with this music? Or is it we still finding stuff? Yeah, First Alien is the best. Anyone else going to jump out at me while I'm here? Just go for it, bros. Oh, oh man, I just dodged into that jacket. music does a really good job here of keeping the atmosphere kind of crazy. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to run into something, so I'm just going to... Is this a crate full of goodies? No. Alright, I'm just gonna run this way and hope for the best. Oh. Uh, okay, he's done. He needs to be. What a shooting. There's some guy throwing an axe at me from somewhere. Yep. There we go! Alright, there's still probably guys out here because the creepy music hasn't gone away. Let's hope we go up this way. Maybe there's just a nice cabin in the woods, you know? I don't even know where I am. Oh, there's a light down there. Okay. We were here. Where are we going now? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's one more guy. Um, can't go down the hill. 
let's just keep going this way, I suppose. I think there are stairs up there, maybe? Am I imagining things? That looks like a path, but it's not a path. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am just like, this is not a chill game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's more guys! Alright. Let's go, let's keep going down the hill. I don't even know where I am at this point, so let's, hopefully there's no traps here. There's just creepy music, creepy forests. I'm, I'm doing what everyone does in a horror movie, which is just run randomly through the woods. Okay. This guy? Oh! Oh my gosh, do I have a plan? No. Run! Run, mate! Run! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Oh, God. This game is kind of challenging. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Let's just... We're going to follow this... I know that there's some... Oh, God. I'm behind a tree now. Oh, I did my bullet time. Oh, yeah, I love it. Like, you're like, yeah, I'm so good. And then I'm so bad. Okay. So that's a couple of guys done. We are going to take the right path. And go this way. What could go wrong? Oh, there's more dudes. That guy done. <sighs> We're not going that way. Let's go this way. Follow the path. My heart is like in my chest right now. This is very nerve wracking. <laughs> Surely there's guys around here again. Okay, so we were back here before. There's guys up here. We know there's guys up here. There they are. Let's get this guy. I can't imagine what this is actually like in Nightmare Mode. <laughs> I get why you kind of need to play this first in order to... <laughs> Okay, so there's nothing up here, I don't think. No, there's nothing. We can't climb up here. Okay, there's a bit chill up here, though. There's no scary music up here. So it's a nice to have a little break from that. I guess we keep going up this way. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not just me, like, who's, like, dying a lot playing this game. Because it's... Yeah, I mean, you're a novelist. You're not an action hero. Okay, there's a guy over here. No, there's a guy over here. Alright, let's just keep an eye out for any more dudes. Okay, let's let's keep going. And hopefully, we're not going to run into any more scary dudes. We're back on some sort of path, so that's good. I hope we're just not running around in circles. That will be really fun. Okay, this guy is here. Oh, 
Oh my god. A lot of me, a lot of this stream is just me going, ah! <laughs> Okay. Where are we going now? Is there anywhere else we can get to? Should we just jump into the Oh hang on, this is there's a Okay, let's go across this, right? Or is that where we started? I don't know if that's where we started. Uh, let's just get out of here. Oh, there's a light! We've found a light, friends! And a manuscript page. Should I just jump? Jump into the water? So how do I get over there? Well, there's more manuscript... Oh, that's the, that's the traps. We don't want those. Am I running in circles, folks? I don't know. I think I might be. Yeah, I suspect I am running in circles, to be honest. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Chill. I'm so glad you're on this stream because, like, I am literally walking in circles not realizing that that is a map indicator. I've been playing video games since I was three years old and I still couldn't figure that out. Good stuff. This is the good thing about playing games with other people because we can all help one another be chill and be cool. Uh, I think that is very, a very smart suggestion. Okay, I've already fought a bunch of people here, so... make it through the woods oh my gosh is there a building up here that we've just been running around in circles avoiding and it turns out it's just up here behind a bush that that map thing has saved my butt we were just running around in circles this whole whoa oh. <laughs> so I am 100% the person in the movie cinema who hates jump scares. Like, I'm hilarious to watch horror movies with. Whoa! I went down the hill. That's okay. Give us a bit more time to to get Big Axe Man. He's gone. And we're dodging. We're dodging. Yeah! Okay, let's reload that weapon, hey? Yeah, right? We're like, how how do we even manage this? Okay, let's get some chill. Some lights. Some lights. We're gonna calm down a bit. Okay. Oh, that's nice. We've got some light. We've got some manuscript pages. Everything will be fine. Oh, a hunting rifle. Now that sounds advantageous. Um... Do you think the mechanics are really nicely balanced in this game? This is actually quite challenging in points. And more coffee! I have no idea what the coffee does, but we that's cool. So we're gonna go this way? Down the hill? Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. drop down. Alright, oh. That's a flare, which means there's probably going to be lots of dudes soon. Uh, yeah. Let's... 
Yeah, so are you, if anybody ever watches a horror movie. See, I don't like these ninja ones. These ninja, slashy ninja dudes are really hard. While the other guys are. Oh, yeah. Um. Whoa, 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 there's more of them. Okay, I'm getting the. I'm out of ammo of everything. Okay, we're just gonna run. We're gonna run. We're running for it. I got no time for anyone else. Come on, we're avoiding all those. This is classic horror movie. We're out of ammo. We're just running to. Come on, dude. Like, like, can you run any faster? He needs to do some more cardio. This guy needs so much more cardio. Like, like. I can run faster than Alan Wake. We have one. We have a flare. We have no torches. So... Let's start running. There's a... Okay, there's a light thing over here. Oh, yeah, again, it's the ninjas in the background. Yeah, we gotta... Okay. I think we can hook the torch... Oh my gosh, we can hook the torch up to the... That? Alright, that's a good thing. Oh, whoa, whoa, well, side man, side man. No, that's the bloody ninjas again. Okay, so I'm gonna start this up. Oh my gosh, more ninjas! Oh, whoa, okay. Yeah, I'm dying a lot in this game. I did not expect to die so much in this game at all. But this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, this is uh Okay, let's let's go and get this sorted out because we need some light. Okay, if we put the Okay, all right. Good strategy. Use the flare to get some time to set start the light. I swear I'm a little bit hyped up from this game. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a bit scary. It's a bit scary. Okay, we're going this way. Going to keep walking towards the light. That is the strategy for this game. We're gonna get this guy. Oh! Oh, this dude. Okay. Anyone else coming at me? Because, uh, you know. We gotta go there. We're gonna just go back and get some some life juice, some light, some calm, some peace and calm, love and light. And then we're gonna keep going down into the woods. Where more ninjas are gonna come out from the shadows at me. My dad used to like watching um, samurai TV shows. There was like a show about ninjas when he was a kid that he used to love. The Eager Ninjas? I've actually been to the home of the Eager Ninjas. Oh my gosh, does this mean we can have a break? Does this mean we can have a little rest from, like, scary stuff? <laughs> oh no. Whoa! Also, I've got to say, like, their local Bunnings must 
do make a killing in axes because everybody's got an axe. Oh yeah. That's some nice dodging there. Oh god. I'm just not this coordinated to play anything more challenging than this. Like, I tried playing Returnal, and I've got to say, I I don't often rage quit games, but I rage quit Returnal. I got up to like the second kind of big boss, and it was just, it's just such a hard. Game. It's so hard. There's so many balls you have to dodge. It's just I, I'm just not born to do that kind of thing. Oh. Now we're platforming. Huh? Where are we going now? Can I? Oh, there's a door. <laughs> okay. Do we get a little break, novel man? Okay. We just burnt up some oil, oily schmear. Pick up revolver ammo. Where's the ammo? There you are. <sighs> All right, we've got the lights. Can we find s They just clearly there's a lot of an oil infestation here. Just making sure the place is nice and tidy, cleaning up. Pick up manuscript pages. Paging, Mr. Wait, what trophy did we just get? 25 manuscript pages. I mean, this is very much a product of its time when you're going around kind of exploring an action oriented map and you're actually finding stuff. Like, it was big and uncharted as well. You're finding all those, like, uh, pieces of paper. Oh, kick that. White, yeah. Um, okay, I thought I was had to jump on there. Like I said, not a platformer player, you know, I admire them from a distance, um, but cannot play them to save my life. I think it's just something about hand eye coordination, right? No, no, don't fall down yeah. again, bro. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This is me like trying, I can't, trying to get on a lift, right? So I'm assuming all I need to do is jump onto that. There we go, there we go. All this for a book, seriously. I'm trying to think of other video games about novelists. Um, I mean, there's games in which book fe books feature. Like, I mean, you know, you've got Disco, you've got the bookshop there, you've got bookshops in Baldur's Gate. But I, I'm trying to, I'm struggling to think of a game where the novelist is the protagonist. Reach the top of the mill. Should I go up? Can I climb up here? Do I need to go in that? Of that? Do I need to smash something? Oh, there's a ladder! Okay! Let's go up and up and up. <sighs> Alright. Oil blobs be gone should really, like if he wants to stop being a novelist, he should really be a professional cleaner. <laughs> this is giving me flashback to every Far Cry game where you have to climb a tower. Multiple times. Oh, don't, oh. The d hey! This guy's got earmuffs. Uh, I have no torch, so... Oh, oh. 
Hey, that was some nice dodging right there, Alan. Hi! Hey, that was a very Baldur's Gate way of dealing with a problem which was shoved off a cliff. Okay, what does this say? The darkness. Where's her face? What is this trying to say about his girlfriend? Is she darkness incarnate? Do I climb up here? Nope. We can go in here though. Okay, we've got a rifle. That's helpful. Yeah, I wasn't how, sure how much of this game was going to be narrative and how much was going to be shooting, but there's a fair bit of shooting. <laughs> nope. Can we... do we get on this thing? Nope. <sighs> I mean, I'm assuming you just walk through the door, but you can't, so we've got to do something first. So, um, there's that, there's light down that way, there's more boxes in there, I must be missing something, nope, nothing in there, very strange. I don't think I should go back down because that's where we came from the mill. Okay, what did it say? The darkness, where's her face? Is it just a matter of jumping over? Oh my gosh, it is a matter of just literally jumping over the fence. <laughs> okay, there's creepy bats. There's some supplies this is just a reminder to make sure you always have your batteries before you go camping anything over here we can come up no that's just a dead end I mean I will say this for the game it is super atmospheric I mean I really feel like I'm in some sort of dark Dark, scary woods at night. Okay. Yep, come on. I'm gonna focus that beam on this guy. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna. Now we can shoot him. Okay, nice dodge there. Alright, well that's one down. Whew. He does actually feel like how a novelist would handle himself in a firefight, which is not very well. Okay. No more creepy guys. We're getting rid of the creepy creepsters. We're going to go to this happy little place up here. Hopefully help Frosty out. Drop hazard. Maybe let's not fall over the edge. <sighs> actually, speaking of tabletop role-playing games, because um, I actually got myself the Arkham book. Campground, lovely. Nothing bad is going to happen here. Why did that just stop? Something's gonna jump out on me now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to fight the park ranger. And he's got a chainsaw. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm concerned about this. Gotta get the chainsaw guy. 
He's absorbing a lot of juice. Whoa! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> there is a high body count in this playthrough. <laughs> okay, we are going and prepared a bit more for Mr. Chainsaw Man. Uh, that's obviously going to lock on after me and I'm going to have to fight this guy. He's a very grumpy park ranger. Alright, let's get this guy. More lumberjacks, I know, right? Oh, battery. Ah, uh, yeah, that might help. Okay, we've got that guy down. Lumberjack man! Park Ranger! Come on! Oh yeah, get the rifle out of this guy! Yeah! Alright, why didn't I try that before? There's a lot of rules in the National Park. You've got to obey them. Don't touch the animals. Don't smoke in the National Park. Oh, campgrounds. Let's get to the campgrounds. There's light! There's light! I have it on uh, medium difficulty. They wouldn't even let me put in nightmare mode when I started the game up because it was like, you're a noob. You've never played this game before. Don't put on nightmare. I kind of actually like to... Is this Barry? Barry? Barry! Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. Barry's back. Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Yeah, so one thing I do, because I kind of trophy hunt a little bit, a little bit. If anyone was watching my platinum run through of Baldur's Gate, I just got that on uh, my last stream. But um, I tend to chuck it in difficult, the highest difficulty mode first and see how hard it is and then if i can get the trophy in that 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 kind of covers a lot I of still trophies i had to reach barry at the cabin but at least i was out of the woods <laughs> sorry you're out of the woods are you novelist you're a funny guy um yeah, so I played The Witcher 3 on Nightmare Mode, which actually had to get the car from the locked garage. Leveled out me back to Barry faster and the headlights pretty easily. Bonus. Um yeah, so the Switch 3 actually was not too bad on on hard difficulty. The hardest bit is the first um the first kind of levels when you're trying to level. Let's go into the toilets cuz nothing bad ever happened in a horror toilet. Pick up garage keys. They're in the loo. A story is not a machine that does what you the tell TV's it. TV's on. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it. Oh my god, thirty two platinum rules, trophies. Are you serious? That's sick. Thing and you set up a chain that is. Whoa. And the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Alice dies. Yeah, like Alice in Wonderland. Um, yeah, that's it. 32 Platinum Trophies. I have th technically three. I don't count one of them because it was one of those, like, you just play through the game and get a Platinum Trophy. One of those kind of, I think it was one of the Telltale games. I don't really count it. But I've got Skyrim and Baldur's Gate 3. Um, it just depends on how much I want to replay a game, right? Because with Skyrim and Baldur's Gate, I was super excited about replaying it. Whereas this I might not replay anytime soon. Alright, let's get in that car, hey? Yeah, I think so too. And I think it's actually just like a... I probably... I, I'm actually would be relatively... The reason I don't have the Platinum in The Witcher 3 is actually because I... Um, because uh, there was a bug, the Gwent block bug. So one of the Gwent cards I physically couldn't get in my playthrough because a quest locked me out of getting it. You could only get it from one 
Oh no, we're doing driving now. I said earlier on the stream how bad I am at driving in games. We're just gonna go down the hill, I guess. Uh, I just hate driving in games, although I love um, Days Gone. Alright. Has anyone played Days Gone on this stream? Because that is. Where are we going? Okay. I'm just gonna run. Let's go down the hill. We're, this is gonna be like, um. Die hard with a vengeance or something. We're just <laughs> we're just doing donuts in that. <laughs> this is very Australian. We're just gonna do some donuts. <laughs> Alright, we go around that, right? Let's go up the hill and let's hold down to boost the car engine. Alright, we're back on the road now, guys. <laughs> I'm actually in real life. I'm a really good driver. Very safe. Very safe. I'm actually looking for a new literary agent, so I really want Barry to be my agent. Um, don't tell me I have to park this car. From <laughs> See what I mean? I can't drive. Where's Barry? Okay, we were here, so... Oh my god. I can't... Mm. Why don't we just go around the roundabout? So do I... Oh, I can get out of the car now. <laughs> okay, Barry was around here somewhere, right? He was like up the hill, I thought. Yeah. No, okay, we need the car. We need to go back up the hill in the car. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you know, this is why I'm not good at, at, like, I don't play, I mean, I don't love GTA as a game, but, like, also, this is why I don't play GTA, because I'm, like, literally the worst video game driver <laughs> ever. Okay, I don't think I can go through that, can I? Maybe? No. Let's try that. Let's... No. I think we're meant to get out of the car, hey? Uh oh. The crows. Whew. Okay, more fighting, more... Oh, lots of... The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Yes, it is, my friend. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, hey mate, I'm like, I'm a Westie, so yeah, I, I'm all here for the burnouts. I don't want to waste my, I really don't want to waste the... gosh there we go all right let's go save Barry because really this is not a love story between Alan Wake and Alice it's all about the love story between Alan Wake and Barry I'm shipping them oh no we've been here before it's not in there. Barry's not in there I am so shipping Alan and Barry we'll call them Balan or Ari 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 Wake. <laughs> I hope there's no more. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. <laughs> I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? 
I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. I haven't watched Barry the TV show, but yes, I hear that that's quite funny actually. It makes me think of Gross Point Blank. Is that the one where, like, I think John Cusack plays a hitman who goes back to his high school Barry reunion? Talked about birds over the phone. Oh. Are we gonna go save Barry? Uh oh. Okay, we really gotta save Barry. I hope Barry. Okay, we've got the gun that's loaded. I think we're gonna go to the rifle first. Mm, this is not good. Lots of birds. This ba Barry's barricaded himself in. <laughs> Do we need to shoot the birds with a flare? I feel like that that's going to be fruitless. Oh! Okay, we need to get a flare out. This is... This has got everything. This is so Alfred Hitchcock, right? It's like... How, how am I going to get in? Barry? What's Barry done? He's basically like blocked me out of... Oh, you can throw it at them. Okay. Just taking pot shots at them. Keep shooting them with my magic lantern till they flop out of the sky. I'm just gonna shoot into them. All right, so that's at least some done. Uh, oh, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, need the proper flare gun. Barry sensibly locked himself in the room. Like, if Alan Wake just stayed in the room and wrote his novel, this no, this game would be much shorter. There we go. Weird birds. Oh, the birds, as in like the Daphne du Maurier story. Yeah, so I read the birds, I think it was last year for a book club. And, um. Uh, this is a weird, weird fight. Weird fight. Barry, let me in, Barry! Let me in with your cool puffer jacket. Come on, hey, Barry. No. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a oh man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. <laughs> for me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Dude, just write anything. The guy doesn't care what the manuscript's about. Just, like, make something up. It's not that hard. Barry Wheeler speaking. Write Barry the novel. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park. 
<laughs> yeah, JMB90210, you super dodged there, mate. It's like, typing messages too fast on Twitch. Have a great day. Have a great Hope day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to the old Good girl. Okay, I kind of want to cosplay as the evil. Now okay, now is this is the, probably the end of my stream for this evening because it's it's late and um, I think we got through like two awesome chapters of Alan Wake and we're going to continue them in the next stream. Probably play this game over about three streams. So if you want to hang out, hit subscribe, you know, come have a chat. And then um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to stream next, whether it's Alan Wake 2 or something else. So um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me this evening. I hope you have a really awesome